What's up, TikTok family? Love you. Wanted to give a shout out. If you guys want to know, like, natural treatments for bipolar, natural treatments for depression, the truth about Alzheimer's disease, and how to wake the f up. Do that for two to five minutes. Try it with two minutes starting first. Try to go for five minutes and you'll see your soul is going to come into your body. Your ego is going to get out. It's going to be transmuted into the light and then you're going to have a kick-ass day. Ooh, you guys are in for a treat. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So if you're somebody like me who is actively trying to improve your mental and emotional well-being, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And as some of you saw from a previous video I did reacting to drug culture on TikTok, I've been trying to get a little bit more into TikTok recently and when i come across one that's you know on the subject of like drugs or addiction or specifically like mental health i stop because it catches my eye and i came across this TikTok from someone named dr samuel lee and it was about bipolar disorder and like i said it stopped me in my tracks and i was like okay this is a, a psychiatrist let me see what he has to say about bipolar disorder okay 60 seconds bipolar depression Bipolar depression. Bipolar disorder is a made-up disorder uh, by pharmaceutical companies who sponsor research papers which have now been ingrained into the Psychiatrist Bible Diagnosis Manual 5. The symptoms are real, but the diagnosis and labels are not. See, bipolar disorder is when a soul goes into a uh, rapid energy. It's all about energy and frequency. Too high of an energy during manic episode, there's too much energy going on in the brain. So there's no cleaning of the subconscious mind and so they're going to be repressed energy and repressed emotions are all brought up to the brain and so they can't sleep they can't meditate and the ego is operating and so they go goal oriented activity they have all these symptoms grandiose all these things but actually the key during bipolar disorder is to bring the energy it's all energy Just five bring seconds it down from the brain to the feet and get some sleep and i was like Oh dang, what is going on? So I decided to check out his actual profile and he has over 87,000 followers on TikTok. And kind of like that last video I just showed you, he has this whole kind of series like explaining different topics in 60 seconds. It's this weird kind of like high energy, like rapid fire, like impactful, like just kind of like putting it all out there on a certain subject. But when I saw this about bipolar disorder, I'm like, that's not exactly how this works. And you are a psychiatrist, all right? So there's a lot of brain science around bipolar disorder. And just for example, I wanna pull from a study which was one of the largest studies on actual neurological scans around bipolar disorder, all right? It says, by revealing clear and consistent alterations in key brain regions, the findings published in Molecular Psychiatry on May 2nd offer insight to the underlying mechanisms of bipolar disorder. Quote, we created the first global map of bipolar disorder and how it affects the brain, resolving years of uncertainty on how people's brains differ when they have this severe illness. So it goes on to say, the researchers measured the MRI scans of over 6,000 individuals, including 2,447 adults with bipolar disorder and 4,056 healthy controls. They also examined the effects of commonly used prescription medications, age of illness onset, history of psychosis, mood state, age, and sex differences on cortical regions. The study showed thinning of gray matter in the brains of patients with bipolar disorder when compared with healthy controls. The greatest deficits were found in parts of the brain that control inhibition and motivation, the frontal and temporal regions. All right, so when I saw that, his video on bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder is a made up disorder. I'm like, there's actually some neuroscience around this stuff like what are you what are you trying to say like are you trying to let people know that bipolar disorder isn't an actual brain disease like many other forms of mental illness so i wanted to see a little bit more of what dr samuel lee was about and i came across another one of those rapid fire videos where it's explaining antidepressants in 60 seconds antidepressant medication uh, antidepressant medication, so there's uh, three primary kinds. There's SSRIs, uh, Selexa, Zoloft, 
Um, you know, that class, there's also SNRIs, Cymbalta, Effexor, uh, Pristique, things like that. And then there's the old school uh, TCAs, which no one really uses anymore. Um, you know, so the SSRIs can temporarily numb uh, like a band-aid for symptoms and make you numb and continue to function in a sick society. Uh, and it's never asking to fix the problem. Uh, SNRIs can be kind of helpful uh, for giving you a little bit of energy like Cymbalta, but they're a b to get off of, I'm telling you, man. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, well, yeah, like a lot of medications, like pretty much all psychiatric medications and there's many other medications for our physical and mental health where if you stop taking them you're going to have withdrawal and stuff like this concerns me because antidepressants save lives yes there are a lot of different holistic ways and different forms of therapy that are really beneficial for treating depression but there are many people who need antidepressants so i'm worried when somebody with this many followers is potentially scaring people from taking different antidepressant medications. And that's when I wanted to dig a little bit deeper into this guy and I went over to his website. So on his website, here's his quick little bio. It says, I'm a certified holistic psychiatrist that teaches a spiritual based mental health discipline. I focus on natural healing techniques that promote the body's innate ability to heal itself. Through an emphasis on breath work and other natural healing techniques, I help my patients feel empowered to overcome their programming, conditioning, and trauma so that they can realize the greatness that lies within themselves, all right? So check this out. I wanna make it very clear. As a recovering drug addict, as somebody whose primary drug of choice was prescription drugs, like I am really into holistic treatment methods, right? Like I've been meditating for like five or six years now and I thought meditation was just this bogus like thing that people did and it doesn't really do anything. It seemed corny and cheesy. The only reason I got into meditation was because of all of the science around it. There is so much science around how meditation helps decrease symptoms of anxiety, decrease symptoms of depression. There are some research studies that show that it can help people who have ADHD, right? But one of the issues is, is that when you take some of the science that backs holistic treatment, aside from meditation and breath work, like there's also, you know, um, natural, uh, you know, uh, supplements and things like that that can help. Like when we start diving into like severe forms of mental illness, that's when it gets a little bit sketchy for me. So as I continued down the rabbit hole of Dr. Samuel Lee, I came across his book promotion. What's up TikTok family, love you. Wanted to give a shout out. If you guys wanna know like, natural treatments for bipolar, natural treatments for depression, the truth about Alzheimer's disease, and how to wake the f up. All of these herbs and tools, breath work, things like that, everything that I know I put into this book called The Spiritual Guide to Mental Health might be the best $17 you ever spend. Might not, but might take a risk. Click the link in the bio if you're interested in waking the f up, because it's about to get fun. Love you. Like $17? Like $17 for this book? And like you just saw from that clip, he's talking about treating severe mental health disorders such as bipolar disorder and schizophrenia and other forms of psychosis. Like this is all throughout his site, right? And I was like, okay, okay. You might be wondering the same thing I am at this point where it's like, is this guy actually a doctor? Is this guy a psychiatrist? Because a psychiatrist is a medical doctor, someone who prescribes medications. So with the help of my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, uh, we did a little bit of research and yeah, Dr. Samuel Lee is board certified in the state of California, all right? So now, now the next question that you might be wondering is how much it would cost you to work with Dr. Samuel Lee and- Wait the up. All right, I'll give you a short amount of time. I'll give you a short little breathing exercise to do while you guess how much it costs to work with Dr. Samuel Lee. So what'd you guess? $100? $200? $300? Well, if you guessed any of those, you were wrong. For a 60 to 90 minute session with Dr. Samuel Lee, it is $400 
dollars and a 30 minute follow-up is two hundred dollars all right and now we'll check out some of his courses because he actually has courses available all right so have you ever wanted to reach self-realization but you don't have too much time on your hands well you should check out dr lee's rapid self-realization program for the low low price of 111 dollars okay so check this out so there's a, a a very famous psychologist who um came up with you know self-actualization self-realization he talked about it a lot in fact it was his life's work and that is abraham maslow any of you who have taken a psychology class you've probably heard of maslow's hierarchy of needs i actually just finished an incredible book called transcend by dr scott barry kaufman and it really dives deep into Maslow's uh, hierarchy of needs and self-actualization, right? So for some people, this is a lifelong process of this self-actualization. So if you're wondering how long this course is for $111, it is a 30 minute course for rapid self-realization, okay? So to kind of conclude this video, what are my final thoughts? What are my final thoughts on this? So I try to give people the benefit of the doubt. Like this guy is clearly, clearly educated, but something I'm always mindful of, especially, especially as a recovering prescription drug addict is like, I can't always trust anybody who gets certified or has an education. For example, Tristan and I, we're currently watching The Innocence Files on Netflix, right? And they're showing a lot of, you know, experts out there who have, wrongfully convicted people based on junk science, right? So although we need experts, although we need doctors, although we need licensed professionals to help us with our physical health, our mental health and everything like that, we need to be weary of some people like Dr. Lee, all right? Like he is doing, like I, I can see where he is doing some good work, but there is some stuff out there where it's like, I hope people realize, like you're not going to cure your bipolar disorder. You're not going to cure your schizophrenia with some of these like holistic breathing techniques and supplements that he's promoting. You know what I'm saying? So when somebody has a massive following on like this, on something like TikTok, especially with a younger audience and everything like that, I think it's important that we get out there and we kind of discuss like, hey, let's, let's, do a little bit of our own research and see if there's actually any scientific backing behind treating such severe mental illnesses. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody out there who supports the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody who supports the channel by buying my mental health books at TheRewiredSoul.com that are nowhere near $17, as well as everybody who gets merch from the merch store. You're all, all awesome. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.